All right, welcome to another episode of the Fab Forms. So things have been a little hectic around here. Been working on the Fab Cab. Had a mass cylinder go on that thing, so I love to drive it. So I can't have it down, so I've been trying to get that thing going. And you may also notice that I've been working on the Goose. So I wanna get that thing, the last couple little odds and ends tidied up so I can get that thing on the dyno this winter. I didn't get to drive that thing that much this uh, summer and definitely don't want to do that next year. So I'm going to try to get it squared away, get some of the little things squared away. Things like um, I got to hook up, I got to wire the line lock. I got to, the alternator's not charging, so I got to kind of figure that deal out. Um, got to put the interior panels back in it. So like right now I got the dash out for wiring reasons, but got to kind of get all that stuff sorted up, get the dash back in it, get the, get the stuff in the trunk back in there. Um, may even lower the rear a little bit, but yeah, just kind of get it sorted. I'll probably, I may make like a full video since it's been a long time since you've seen the goose. Kind of go over it a little bit. But anyway, this video is not about those vehicles. This video, we're going to work on the Bibster. In the last video, I mentioned I was going to start putting the wastegates on, and that's really what I want to get kind of finished up today. Black bear. You ready to do some work? So it's more along the lines of what it's gonna look like with valve covers on it. So I think what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this RAM board, RAM board, did a video, did a Friday video on this stuff at one point, and uh, I think I'm going to duplicate these pieces of tube. Uh, the angles at which these tubes need to meet the existing turbo piping is going to be pretty tough to make and so my thought process is that if I can make some cardboard tubes be much easier to trim and fit and then uh, what I can do is once I get it trim and fit I can actually use this to mark the stainless it won't be perfect but it'll get me get me really close so I need to make two of these
So I think I've got the piece made. It fits us pretty good. Like I said, I just want to get it really close and then I can kind of fine tune the actual stainless piece itself. The thing that was cool is that because both sides were basically the same when I did it, that this piece actually works on the other side as well. So that made it pretty nice. Now hopefully I can just slide this over that. Give the old traceroo, cut it, and then hopefully with just a little bit of grinding, I'll have what I need. So there's the first one, got it cut uh, pretty close to the template and had to kind of take off a little extra on the sides. I had a feeling that was going to happen because this thing doesn't stay perfectly round. So as I'm fitting it, you know, it's kind of easy to make it fit the tube because it can kind of flex a little bit. This one's really close. Now I think what I want to do is I'm going to string like a line across this just to have a reference to kind of look at to make sure that these things are uh, at least by eye pretty So I think I've got it figured out where I want to position this thing. And what I like to do uh, on circumstances like this is I'll just drill a little hole uh, about where this thing's going to go. I'm not going to worry about trimming this hole perfectly right now. Um, a good bit of overhang flange will actually help kind of dissipate heat a little bit once I go to weld this thing. It'll be easier to do, keep it from kind of burning through. I just need a big enough hole to kind of allow gas coverage to get on the inside of this thing. And what I'll do is I'll tack this one on. I'll get it nice and perpendicular um, and level and how I want it. Tack it on. And then basically I'll make this one to match this one. I'm not going to worry about the wastegates anymore because it doesn't matter once you got one on. As long as you make the other one match, it'll be... It'll be what I want. All right, now, nothing to do but make the other side match, which is actually the hard part.
two hours later. All right, so there they are. Uh, they're fit pretty well. I'm pretty happy with how they're fit. Uh, I actually tried to offset them a little bit to the driver's side just because, well, the center of the chassis is here. So, you know, any bit that I could offset them that way, I feel like it would kind of help center them up. One of the things I used was this aluminum square tube and I actually clamped it to the driver's side, the first one that I did, just to make sure that they were sticking out the exact same amount and that, you know, that they're parallel and all that good stuff. And then what I did is I actually made this thing level so I knew that they were the same height. So just, just a little behind the scenes on how I actually made that happen. Sometimes it's not the fanciest equipment that gets the job done. So the, the plans are to finish weld these off the car. And um, I just drilled those holes in those tubes so I had, I'd have gas coverage from the inside because I'm gonna have to back purge everything when I weld it. Um, I'll just plug off these outer sections and then that argon can kind of flow everywhere it needs to flow to get those welds covered on the back side. And then what I'll do is once everything is totally welded up, I'll go in here with like a carbide Dremel and kind of clean up that inside. You know, the hole in there now is only this big. I'll kind of grind that all back, clean it all up, make it nice and smooth, and uh, she'll, be, she'll be ready to rock and roll. Let's throw the waste gates on this thing and see what it looks like. That's basically what I'm looking at. Um, right now they look like they kind of stick out pretty far. I'm pretty sure, but I've got some ideas. Uh, well, there's kind of a reason why I have them out this far. I think at some point I may do like a faux grill shell for this thing, just kind of the outline or the outer shell. I mean, obviously I don't have a radiator, so I don't need a grill, I don't need a radiator shell, but I thought it'd be cool to like make this little induction piece that's kind of built into the grill shell itself kind of lay that thing back, have it kind of built in around this. So if you kind of imagine some kind of grill shell at this angle, it's gonna come down and what I'll do is it'll kind of cover these up or go around them up the other side and then I'll actually probably put openings in it where you, you know, it's kind of, these things are kind of peeking through the bottom of this shell. So I don't know, that's kind of the idea right now. Um, obviously I'm a long ways from that, so we'll just roll with it and pretty much like I do everything else, I'll figure it out. Hi right, guys, there you go, the waste gates on the Bibster. One more thing, check it off the list. I mean, obviously I gotta still finish weld everything, which is very time consuming, but I mean, they're mounted, they're fit, they're mocked. It's one more thing checked off the list. I get, a, I get a lot of comments about how long it's taken me to build this thing. I don't think people realize. I've got a day job. I've got a family. I've got four kids. I mean, for real. It's 11.34. I'm out here working. It's the only time I can work. So... That's why it takes me so long. The same batch of comments that I get, it's like, how long is it gonna take you to build that thing? Which has probably come from somebody who's never even built anything. They're just typing on the keyboard. On the same, in the same section, I get comments on how do you balance family and shop life? That's how I do it. Put the family to bed, I come out in the shop and work. Or I get up before the family gets up, come out in the shop and work. Cause once the kids are up, it's time for school, then I gotta go to work. 
Gotta go to my other job. Get home, it's like homework and dinner and then bath and put the kids to bed and all. I ain't got time to do nothing. Hell, if I was a full-time YouTuber, man, I could really knock out some stuff. There you go, waste gates on the Bipster. Hope you guys dig that. More videos coming soon. Y'all go do work, son.